It's been a while, but one of the biggest franchises in the games industry is getting a remake, so let's go through some of the interesting details and news about the new Metal Gear Solid Delta. Well, Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater is a ground up remake of the beloved and critically acclaimed Metal Gear Solid 3. For those of you that don't know, here's a brief intro to the story and setting of Metal Gear Solid 3. It's set in the midst of the 1963 Cold War, and the legendary soldier Naked Snake embarks on a top secret mission to rescue a Soviet. Soviet scientist from the USSR. As he journeys through jungles and faces formidable foes, Snake grapples with themes of loyalty, betrayal, and the sacrifices made in the name of war. The game explores the evolution of a legendary soldier and leaves players pondering the true cost of their actions in the name of duty and patriotism. The game is definitely both thrilling and intense, so Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater is regarded as one of the best Metal Gears. It will be interesting to see how this new remake recaptures that because it's being developed without the original mastermind behind its scenes. Hideo Kojima, after a very public fallout with Konami, has left the company to form Kojima Productions, making this remake announcement very bittersweet for fans of the franchise like we are here on the channel. We know that the actual development team working on the game will be Konami's in-house team, and Virtuous, which is a studio based in Singapore that helps with the development of these games. But what exactly will this remake be? Alongside when the game was revealed, Konami also made a statement saying, quote, We are remaking Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, one of the most beloved installments of the Metal Gear series. Revealing the original story of Snake as Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, we're working hard for Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater to be a faithful recreation of the original story and game design, while evolving the gameplay with stunning visuals and a seamless user experience, end quote. We know from the reveal that even though it was was revealed at a PlayStation event, it won't be exclusive and will be releasing on the following platforms, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. This means it should be a fully current gen game rather than a cross gen game, which hopefully means the visuals should be better as a result. We don't currently have a release date for the game, so it could be some time for it to release. But we do know that the game has been in development for a while due to rumors leaking years before, so we speculate it will be released in 2024. But talking about the visuals of the game, we actually have some in-engine screenshots. We get to see a glimpse at some iconic places like the wooden bridge that longtime fans will definitely remember, and some of the wildlife like crocodiles, as in Snake Eater that made up a big part of the gameplay, giving you both benefits and enemies. We will say that the visual definitely look impressive, but not so much on the character models themselves. The foliage looks really nice, which is great to see, as the game mostly takes place in a thick jungle environment. Amazingly, there was a recent in-engine gameplay video released for Metal Gear Solid Delta that shows just how truly impressive the visuals are going to be. This new video reveals that the game will be using Unreal Engine 5 instead of the Fox engine that was used in Metal Gear Solid 5. And from the gameplay, we get a look at some of the features that will be included in the game or enhanced this time around. Instantly, the first thing that stands out to us is the interactivity with the environment, with there being dirt build up on both the water and mud displacement making the world look a lot more realistic. One scene actually shows some dirt dropping off of Snake, and some eagle-eyed fans may have noticed it isn't just dirt that sticks to Snake, but also foliage, which is really cool and it'll be great to see how this factors into gameplay. While there isn't any word on the controls, we know that the gameplay mechanics have been modernized as we get to see the auto cover in action, which people have spotted looks very similar to the animations from Metal Gear Solid 5. One user on Twitter has even made a comparison video showing just how similar these animations are. We are undecided if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but it would be great to know how you guys feel about them potentially lifting the animations from Metal Gear Solid 5. One of the main components in Metal Gear alongside the stealth aspect of the game is the combat, with the ability to aim down sights and close quarters combat which is shown off in the video. This definitely gets us excited to see if they will build on the Metal Gear Solid 5 systems by adding in extra mechanics as that was one of our favourite parts of Metal Gear Solid 5 and just Metal Gear Solid in general. And thanks to IGN, we actually have a direct comparison of the upgrade we're getting in Delta against Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, and you can see there is a dramatic difference in visual but what is really insane is that a lot of the mechanics and physics are still in place even though the base game is years old just showing how advanced that game was. 
Some people are saying that the game has lost some of its charm though due to this visual change, but what do you think? Interestingly, we know that the original voice cast will be coming back to voice their characters. And even if Hideo Kojima isn't at the helm this time, it'll be great to hear Snape being voiced by David Hayter, as the last outing we got with Snape was voiced by Kiefer Sutherland. However, it doesn't sound like they will be re-recording the voice lines and updating them, as a tweet from Konami said, quote, the story and character voices in Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater will remain the same from the original game, end quote. Another question that we have been pondering though is the inclusion of an online mode like Metal Gear Online. We've always been fond of this game mode and it would be great to see it return, especially with all the bells and whistles of a modern multiplayer game. As the earlier Metal Gear Solid Online series version was released when it wasn't super mainstream enough to be an online game on consoles in the same way that it is today. Even Metal Gear Solid 5 and Metal Gear Solid 4 were on the boundary of a proper boom. But we would love to know how you guys feel about this one if you're a longtime fan or if you're just someone interested in playing your first Metal Gear Solid game. We'll leave you with the full trailer to enjoy, but there's one thing that you might easily miss, which is that at the beginning you can actually see the Shago Hod super faintly near the start. So watch it and then tell us if you spot anything else in the comments down below. Searching and I'll melt into you 